Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to talk about the L plus selector that we might get. Now what am I talking about? Well, in the Korean version of the game, on the 100th day, they gave out an L plus selector to all the players. Uh, now I'm not sure if you're going to get it because obviously the two games are different and we're not getting exactly everything that they're getting, our progress is different, so on and so on. However, I would expect that they probably are going to do the same event. Um, I'm not 100% sure, obviously, but uh, you know, I'm making this video assuming that we are getting that event or, or that you know that prize or whatever on the hundredth day. So, who should you choose if you get that? Well, let's talk about it a little bit more first. Um, so I know, you know, I've been explaining to players that you should be pulling with the Moonstone bundles uh, and trying to get, you know whatever L plus unit that you want with it. Um, and so now, depending on if you're getting one or not, you might actually want to put that on hold for a bit and I'll explain why. So um, if, you know, if you're keeping pulling on, if you keep pulling on this right now and we happen to get say Cosette right now, like today or tomorrow or something, um, that event is probably gonna come in within a month, right? Today is like what, day 80? So in 20 days, something like that, we're probably gonna get that event Hopefully we get it, you know, fingers crossed. Uh, and if you get it, we might have a roster similar to this. So if you've already got Cosette today, then we have to figure out, okay, who are we gonna get now after this? And that might not be a bad choice, but there might be a better choice just, you know, over the horizon. So um, if you already have Cosette, right? Like, because we have already pulled her or something, um, then I can explain, you know, which one I think you should get. I can give you some ideas. But if you didn't pull Cosette yet, and you get Cosette from that, then from this banner, you can actually switch to even the fu the future units that come up. And the future units that are coming out, um, I heard are better than these units and have a like a longer lifespan than these units. Like for example, Ace should be coming in two months. And I think Evan is coming um, at the end of, you know, at the beginning of you know, next month, probably like the beginning of February or something. So one of those units might actually be better than, than one of, you know, one of these units. So, um, you know, you might want to consider not pulling uh, right now, at least until it's confirmed that, you know, we are or we are not getting that uh, that selector. And um, if you don't have it, if you don't have a Cosette, yeah, just, I, I would suggest you would, you know, stop and then get Cosette from that because I definitely recommend Cosette. She is the best one out of all these. She's still being used in Korean servers today. Um, she is the best PVE unit and she does have a significant advantage over the other uh, PVE DPS units. So I highly recommend getting her if you don't have her. Um, however, uh, you know, with the daily pulls that you're doing or, you know, just this banner, I suggest that you pause and wait um, because we're getting that L plus selector and I mean, there's no point in having two Cosettes, right? So I would suggest you wait, uh, you know, if you can get her from that, get her from that. And then, um, you know, just take it easy. Uh, you, you don't have to keep pulling this, just accumulate the currency. And then when you see somebody you really want, then get it. Um, so what if you, you know, what if you already have Cosette or you're going to get Cosette and you want to get somebody else anyway? Um, like you don't really care for Evan or Ace or something and you want to get other units? Okay, then then this part of the video is for you. Like we we're going to talk about the other units and say, you know, what I think of them. So um, I don't suggest anybody pull for Shane, honestly, because um, we're going to get her at the 2 million CP anyway. It might seem far away right now because um, maybe you're at like 1 million and you're like, yeah, I've been playing for, you know, two months or two and a half months and I'm only at one million, it's gonna take forever. Um, well, yes and no, I mean, it is a bit of a, you know, it does take a bit of time to get it, but, um, it, you know, your CP gain will also uh, start getting, uh, like you, you'll start getting CP faster as you go on, uh, as more content is released. For example, like right now we only have one page of divinities. When we get a second page, obviously our CP is gonna go up like way higher. I also found that, you know, the formations, um, every formation, every level that you get increases 1000 CP. So you can get, you know, quite a bit of CP there. My rank, like my CP rank actually shot up by like 20 ranks um, just by uh, maximizing those formations. So, you know, there there are ways to get it. And if you're only going to get one unit like every six months because you're a free to pay player, I highly don't recommend you get Shane because you're gonna get it for free and it's almost like a waste, in my opinion. Um, so I, so she's like a big cross, like I, I would not bother with her. Um, and then now between Valder and Ming, um, 
so here here's here's my take on it Wilder is very great. I mean, right now he's doing really well. There are games that I win just because of him. Um, and I, I think he's a very, very good unit. However, people have said he falls off, uh, you know, in um, in a few months, maybe in like two months when Ace comes here. And it's not that he falls off. He actually doesn't get weaker. It's, th it's that he gets replaced because Ace does a very similar thing to him and he does it better. So why do you want to have two units that do the same thing? I mean, sure, you can do it for like guild guild uh, guild battles and stuff and you want to bring you know more than four units sure uh, you know then you can still use him but by and large like ace is just you know whatever he does he does ace does better and um it's it's mainly his uh his pull skill like this one where um wilder basically pulls everybody within 10 meters right and uh and then everyone can stun him and, and so on and the range of this is only 10 meters for ace it's double the range it's 20 meters um when the battle starts like when a pvp battle starts wilder actually has to run forward and then pull whereas ace will almost be able to pull everybody right from where he starts because that's uh, the range of that is about 20 meters so if you're getting wilder now sure you might actually do really well in pvp until um Ace comes, but if you are not replacing Valder with Ace, like, or if you're fighting other players that have Ace and you're Valder, you're probably going to lose because the range of the pull from Ace is just so much higher. Um, Valder will still be a good unit by himself. He just won't be able to compete against Ace because of the difference in range. Um, if you're fighting other people that don't have ace then sure you, Valder will still do good and Valder will not it's not that he gets worse there isn't like anything bad about him it's just that somebody does what he does even better so that's the reason why he falls off it's like this same thing i've been telling you about like you know for like spike for example i'm like yeah spike is really good it's not that he falls off is that everybody else gets something that he has it's not that he becomes worse everyone else just becomes better similar story with Valder. um Ming, I've heard, actually is in the meta for a lot longer than Valder. So if you're looking for a PvP character, like both of these are PvP characters. If you're looking for a PvP character, I mean, Valder is good in the short term, in my opinion, but I think Ming will be better off in the long term. Um, she has a few things going for her. She has, uh, you know, a high chance of C uh, CC. She has 60% chance of CC and two casts of it. Whereas um, Fodina, which is used everywhere, has a 40% chance of CC. So this is a much better skill. And she also is able to do an AOE buff removal. So, um, uh, sorry, not that skill, the skill. Yes, 100% uh, chance of removing buffs. Uh, it's an AOE, six meters around the caster. Um, so she, like, she does v two very good PvP things. So she's a very good unit. Um, and I heard that she will actually be in the meta for a while, a lot longer than Valder is. So if you're looking for a long-term PvP character of all of these units, Ming would probably be your choice. Um, what about a tank? So um, I actually did a comparison between um, L plus Rudy and L Rudy and talked about the difference between the two. And I highly, you know, if you're thinking about getting him, I highly recommend that you go and look at that video. Um, I'll post a description. I'll post the link in the description if you don't want to go and look for it. Um, but uh, the gist of it is like, they're both very good. They're both good at different things slightly. So depending on your team composition, the L Rudy might just be better for you. Um, but I am using, you know, L plus Rudy and I found a lot of good uses with him, but I feel like you need the team to be really built around him and you really need very high defenses. So if you're a newer player, uh, you know, L, L plus Rudy might not be so good for you simply because you won't be able to make as much use of him as you would L Rudy. And I mean, we're already getting the L selector, right? So maybe, you know, you're like, oh, I'm gonna get the L plus Rudy with the L plus selector and I'm gonna get somebody else with the L selector. Well, maybe you should rethink that, right? It depends, like I can't give you a, a definite answer simply because, um, uh, you know, I, it really depends on, on what you have, how well built your account is, how much uh, how much gear you have, how much defenses you have. Um, this guy, L plus Rudy really shines when you have a ton of defense, uh, but L Rudy is easier to build. And they're both very good. They both can be used uh, similarly in um, a lot of scenarios, like for example, the Salos raid, where you want to give everybody a shield, you can use either of them. So, um, you know, he's not a bad choice and he's also used for a while as well. Uh, you just have to, you know, um, really think if you're gonna get a lot of value of using him instead of El Rudy. Chris is really interesting to me because he seems to have a very good kit. Um, and I think he will get a lot stronger when we have a second unit that has the, um, what is it? 
the instant death debuff because if you stack two instant death debuffs on one unit they get killed so um right now he's he's okay like you know all, all the skills are very good like the instant death debuff already does a it's it does it's ticking you know it slowly ticks your hp and on top of that it also um you know two stacks and, and they're dead and because of his passive, he gets a full cooldown on all the skills. So he's easily able to cast these skills and start, you know, stacking them up and basically eliminating targets. Um, the biggest problem I find with him is his availability because um, sometimes, it, you know, even with the immortal buff, a lot of people are running buff removal, so it's easy to get rid of that. And then if he falls, he dies um, before he's able to stack these these buffs. Um, sorry, stack these debuffs, then I'd, I, I feel like you're not getting as much value out of him. Um, in the Asian server, uh, when he was released, there were already people that, you know, I guess bailed hard for him and had him at like level 45 plus. And I found that he was very, very difficult to deal with when you have him like fully built up and you have like a very high defense and um, like the proper kit to make sure his availability is high. His attack doesn't really need to be so high because if you stack these debuffs, you're eliminating targets anyway. So you don't really need to have a high attack. You just need to, him to uh, you know, survive. So revive set, um, uh, it, like immortality set, like those kind of accessories are also, actually immortality is not that good because he has it on his, um, on his passive, but any anything that increases his availability and having a very good surveillable uh, you know, a very a very tanky Chris Plus is is going to be a like a force to deal with, and it's going to be very tough. And he will also be useful in the future when you have uh, other units that have the same debuff as him. Um, and from Korean players, I heard that he keeps switching in and out of meta. Um, you know, like I, I guess whenever a new unit is released that has this, uh, suddenly. You know, he, more players are playing him because they want to stack it. And then something else gets released, a different mechanic that overpass, bypasses it or something like that. I don't know. But like he, he he switches in and out of meta, but he's not really ever fully gone from the meta is the feedback that I've heard. I haven't played the Korean servers myself. So everything I'm hearing about the future is, you know, from talking to other players and also like looking at their skill sets and seeing how they're, they can be used. Um, so, you know, I, I've covered everyone and... Um, so my, my general general advice for all L plus units is to get Cosette because she is the best bang for your buck. She will be useful for a very long time. Um, I'm suggesting players stop pulling for her right now because we might be getting, we have a high chance of getting the L plus selector in, a, in you know, the 100th day event or festival or whatever it is. Um, and so if you're if you already have Cosette, you know, uh, and who should you get from the L plus selector, you know, from that ticket, then uh, it's a toss up, you know, between the other units. Like I, I've talked about for PVP, you should consider Valder for if, if you want to do well in the short term over Ming for the long term. If you um, don't think you're going to be able to get Ace, maybe Valder is not a bad choice because Ace does better than Valder, but um, if you're not going to be able to get Ace anyway, because you probably won't be able to pull another L plus unit, I don't think. Um, you are way too far from the pity to get get him, and you know stuff like that. Then maybe Valder is not a bad choice. Um, Ming is again PVP focused. Uh, she, she has more use. She she is in the meta longer than Valder. Um, Rudy, I talked about. You know. You have to consider if you should, if you really want to go for him, is it better? Is it going to provide you more benefit than the legendary version of Rudy? And Chris is a, you know, is a bit of an oddball because he is very good, uh, but you need him to be, you know, he, you need him to be very well, very well built. Like my Chris plus is only forty, and I have a hard time keeping him alive. So I actually took him out of my PVP composition, although I feel like his skill set is very good. Um, so you really want him to, you know, you need him to survive if you're going to put him in PvP. And is your account built for that? Do you have very high codex buffs? Do you have the gear to support that? If you don't, maybe, you know, maybe you don't really want to do that. And there's one thing that I haven't talked about, which actually is also very important. Um, by my calculations, like my, my um, what I think is going to happen, uh, the following Wednesday, we're probably not going to get a new unit. But I think the Wednesday after that, we're I'm assuming that we're going to get an L plus unit, a new L plus unit, and a new L unit because that's been the case since this game was released. Like every month, we're getting one L plus unit, um, and I think that's the rotation where we should be getting an L plus unit. And the L plus unit that we might get might be uh, Evan 
the L plus Evan. And L plus Evan might actually be a very good unit as well. So, uh, and if that happens exactly like I'm saying, the 100th day festival should happen after L plus Evan is released. That hopefully means that he will also be on the ticket that we're getting. I don't know, of course, like he might not be. You know, they might be like, well, we're only going to do the four release um, or the five release. Sorry, the four release uh, L plus units. I don't know what it's going to be. So, um, you know, if he is on the ticket, then that's also something to consider too, right? And um, when that's released and when he's released, I will make, you know, a another video and actually look into the details of him and, and, and talk about it in more 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 general, sorry, in more detail. Uh, but right now, it's just something to consider as well. Like maybe he can also be something that you want to uh, consider getting over any of these units. So, um, you know, those are my thoughts. Uh, we still have some time, but I wanted to get this out early so people can start thinking and at least um, they can stop pulling on this banner, right? Because if you only want to get one, if you only want to get Cosette and then you're gonna save for the future, you can just get her from the L plus select that we are hopefully getting and stop pulling on this for the next 20 odd days. So that's this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if there's other questions or comments, please leave them below and I will do my best to help you guys out. Uh, that's it for now. Take care, guys.